Lord, so that you can defile the Most High's day, and therefore the nations keep their power over the children of Israel. They know this. They did this during the time of Nehemiah. Read. Verse 17. Then I contended with the nobles of Judah, and said unto them, What evil thing is this that ye do, and profane the Sabbath day? So shopping and selling is profaning the Sabbath of the Lord. Read. Verse 18. Did not your fathers thus, and did not our God bring all this evil upon us, and upon this city? Yet he bring more wrath upon Israel by profaning the Sabbath. He said, look at our condition. Can't you see what the Most High did to us for breaking the Sabbaths? But yet, you're going to come out here and set up shop on the Sabbath. See, this also show you that this have nothing to do with moons also. Those that were working these shops and setting up these markets knew to come every seventh day. Okay, you don't know when the Sabbath is if you're going by a new moon. I don't even know why I'm, I'm even talking about that, 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 that madness. Finish reading. Verse 19. And it came to pass that when the gates of Jerusalem began to be dark before the Sabbath, I commanded that the gates should be shut and charged that they should not be opened until after the Sabbath. Go ahead. And some of my servants set I at the gates that there should no burden be brought in on the Sabbath day. Go ahead. Verse 20. So the merchants and sellers of all kind of ware lodged without Jerusalem once or twice. Then I testified against them. So instead of them listening to Nehemiah, they lodged there to wait so they can sell their, their products. Nehemiah told them to leave. But what happens next? Read. Verse 21. Then I testified against them and said unto them, why lodge ye about the wall? Why are you waiting at the wall, you Gentiles? Read. If ye do so again, I will lay hands on you. Nehemiah say, if you come around Jerusalem again with this and land near the walls to try to condemn my people by selling on the Sabbath, I'm going to lay hands on you. So don't think that these prophets were some type of gentlemen. Okay, they wasn't playing. They say, you keep coming around here trying to cause our people to fall. We're going to put our hands on you. Read. From that time forth came they no more on the Sabbath day. And from that time forth the Gentiles stopped hanging around Jerusalem on the Sabbath to sell their goods. See nations have engrafted this in our society today naturally. They make the sales and everything on the weekend so that Israel can profane the Sabbath. Now you might think well why is it that it's talking about us or the Israelites being punished for this and not the Gentiles. Why? The Most High did not give his law to the Gentiles. He gave his law to the children of Israel. And the Gentile, the Gentile powers know this. So they keep us under their grip, under their foot, by setting up a system that makes us breaks the most high, makes us break the Most High's law, statutes, and commandments. Now, in the book of Jubilees, here's a small book of Jubilees. It goes further into the Sabbath. We're at the 50th chapter. And I need you to read the 8th verse. A matter of fact, start, start at the 6th uh, the verse. The 50th chapter and the 6th verse of our Jubilees. Jubilees. Chapter 50, verse 60. And, six. Excuse me, verse 6. And behold, the commandment regarding the Sabbaths, I have written them down for thee, in all the judgments of its laws. Six days shalt thou labor, but on the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord your God. In it ye shall do no manner of work, ye and your sons, and your men, men servants, and your maid servants, and all your cattle, the sojourner also with you, who is also with you, excuse me. And the man that does any work on it shall die. So under the old covenant, if we did any work on the Sabbath, it was instant death. Read. Whoever desecrates that day, whoever lies with his wife. So a man cannot lie with his wife on the Sabbath. So if that's a practice that any of us have been practicing going this day forward, we cannot do that. Read. Or whoever says he will do something on it, that he will set out a out on a journey therein in regard to buying or selling. So you're on a journey 
to make money. You're on a journey to buy and sell or to sell a plot or go look at a house. You can't do any of these things on the Sabbath. Read. And whoever draws water, they're wrong. So we're not supposed to draw water. That means go out because you, you had to work to go get water in those days. Now let's not be over-righteous. Some people might ask, well, can we turn on the faucet? If you want to drink some water, turn on the faucet. But if you have a well, and some people may have wells, go get your water before the sun go down for the water you'll need within that 24 hours. Read. He, he, that he will set on a journey thereon in regard to any buying or selling. Or whoever draws water thereon, which he had not prepared for himself on the sixth day. Or whoever takes up any burden to carry it out of his tent or out of his house. Go ahead. Shall die. Ye shall do no work what, whatever on the Sabbath day. Save what ye have prepared for yourselves on the sixth day. So the only thing you can eat or drink is what you prepared for yourself on the sixth day. So you have it in your refrigerator already. Oh, let's just say if you like your food already prepared... Uh, you will put it in the refrigerator, put it on the side, and you'll eat it through. So if you want cooked food for the Sabbath, you would probably want to cook your food before the sun go down and eat it into the Sabbath. Then you will have warm food. During the time in which you wake up the next day, you probably want to eat something already prepared, such as cereal or or, or, or cold cuts or some foods that you, it don't take you too much to make. It don't take you lighting a fire or cooking. Read. Ye shall do no work on the Sabbath day. Save what ye have prepared for yourselves on the sixth day. So as to eat and drink and rest and keep Sabbath from all work on that day and to bless the Most High your God who has given you a day of festival and a holy day. And a day of the holy kingdom for all Israel is this day among, among their days forever. So it says this day is among our days forever. So of course there's grace. If there's a situation in which someone is suffering and they need something quick or some, you know, just say if there's some type of remedy that you have to cook up for a person to heal them and it's a Sabbath day. Of course you can do that because you can do good on the Sabbath like Christ says. Suppose there's someone who need a pair of shoes on that day and you, you, you happen to know this person and they're homeless and need something to eat or need some shoes. If you were to go and buy this person some shoes, you would not be breaking the Sabbath because you're doing good on the Sabbath. And that's what Christ was showing. All right. But if we can control our actions on the Sabbath, these things should be kept throughout all generations. All right. They should be kept. All right. So we just wanted to clear up anything, any misconception. And if you have any questions on that, I'll be more than happy to answer any question we have on the Sabbath before we go into the lesson. Can I read this? Uh, yeah, read that, that part too. Go ahead. Uh, Exodus uh, 16 and 23. Exodus 16 and 23, read. Exodus chapter 16, verse 23. And he said unto them, This is that which the Most High have said. Tomorrow is the rest of the Holy Sabbath unto the Most High. Bake that which ye shall bake today, and seed that which ye will seed today, and that which remaining over lay it up for you to be kept until the morning. Exactly. So you cook it before the sun go down, and that's the food you'll eat when you get up in the morning. So you prepare the food actually before the sun go down Friday, and that's the food you eat throughout the day. Well, there is no certain types of foods that you eat. Think about this. You eat clean meats. Leviticus, the 11th chapter, you have to really think when you're asking questions. You can eat clean foods. All right? Anything the Most High said is clean, you can eat. But what you can't do is prepare it and try to act like it's a regular day. You would prepare it before the sun go down. All right, when the sun go down, your food is prepared. There's no, not much work to do. You concentrate on the Most High and you do His will. And, and you eat foods. You eat what's in the house. It's not, that, it's not that complicated. Well, when it comes to microwaves, I really, 
I don't see no difference between microwaving the food and cooking the food. It just takes less time. All right. So let's just try to prepare our foods before the Sabbath so we'll get used to it.